everyone. This is Joanna, and today I was coming to show you some purchases that I have made. Some of these things I have been in, and some of them I have not used yet. And I've been to different stores. I've been to Bath and Body Works. I've been to Ulta. I've been to Sephora, and I believe a Family Dollar store. So I will start off, I'm guessing, I suppose, to make room here on my table, with some of the nail polishes that I purchased. Um, I will start with... These right here were some little stickers I got for a dollar from the nail store. I plan to use these with French tips when my nails grow out a little bit more. Since, as I said before, I had to file them down because I was peeling them, which I know I shouldn't do. I also got this little glitter here because I was watching someone's video on um, glitter sandwich manicures, and I think this is the one that they used, but they weren't sure. This one is sparkling diamonds, and these were both just a dollar a piece. Um, I got my julep order. And I will start with, um, I think I got like five polishes. I got two as an add-on, and then I got three, and then I also had a couple of separate orders, which these are still boxed. These were the ones that I think were $7.99, and this is Vanessa by Julep. It's just a clear glitter polish with a lot of pretty colors. I'm probably going to use this when I start doing a lot of the snowflake manicures. I really like using my plates with snowflakes. This one is Charlotte, and it's a little bit more murkier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be kind of like Anne, more of a true purple, but similar. But I do still like this because I think that'll be great for the fall. Um, and I've got these kind of out of whack. I'm going to try to put these in the order for you of the ones that actually came in my box for October. So I hope I have this right. I have Missy, it's an it girl. It is a silver. And I have a lot of silvers. This one's a little bit different, but I was um, debating on whether or not to put this in a giveaway. So it's unopened. Another color that I have is Valerie. This is um, a tealish green color. I got this one based on how it looked, so I think this might have been one of the ones. I'm not sure if I added it on or if it came with my colors. But it is pretty, and it's different from some of the teals that I have. Another one I have here is Anissa. It's kind of a red color. It's kind of along the same family line, not quite as my Zoya um, Livingston. And also, I think this Essie size matters. Now, these are all three different, but to me, they're all in the same color family. And again, this is Anissa. I got Kendra. And this is kind of similar to my um, China Glaze Argo polish, but not quite. I did put them together to kind of compare the two of them. So they are not just alike, but they are very similar. I'm trying to see. Here's Argo here. And then here's this color here. So this one's just a little bit darker, if you could see that. Hopefully you can. And then also I had this color here called... Sierra, and I think this is in the It Girl. It just looked very pretty, kind of similar to Reese, but not completely, but it was the color that got me, so I'm going to try that out. This will probably be the first one of these that I try, and the polishes that I just showed, um, the Zoya Livingston. I had a giveaway with Zoya Pixie Dusk, and I will probably be getting some more Zoya from the Satins and Cashmere's. I will have another giveaway with polish, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you're not that crazy about polish or you think you have enough or maybe you have a lot of the colors that I've shown, I'm going to have a Bath and Body Works giveaway as well. Probably at the 1st of November, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. This one is Size Matters. I do remember I saw this in a Missy Lynn video, so that was why I like that one. And then I went to Ulta, and their ad sometimes is kind of misleading. I thought that the ad said buy two, get one free which I was going to get another one for a giveaway because I also plan to have an OPI giveaway and one that also contains some of the Mariah Carey colors. But I got Lost on Lombard and Keeping Susie at Bay. And what you actually got free was a base or a top coat, which I like this natural base coat a lot. I don't really think, though, my opinion that any base coat keeps your nails from staining. I think if a polish is going to stain, it's going to stain no matter what. And I have had that happen. Um, this one here, I like this one because it reminded me of paint. 
This is called Parka Perfect, and it just does. It just reminds me of when I was a little girl, and my grandmother had all the rooms in her house painted different colors. I think this will be pretty if I use silver or black snowflakes over it, even white. Um, I use my Bundle Monster Snowflake plate a lot, and my Conad Snowflake plate, where I place different um, snowflakes in different areas. This was one of the new Essie ones, Toggle, let me see, Toggle to the top, it says. I'm thinking this is straight glitter. I'm not sure. I haven't opened it up to try it yet, but I do plan to. And I had also been hearing a lot of people talk about this NYX Cinnamon Blush, and I do like this a lot. I've worn this a couple of times, and I got that from Ulta. And I think I'm getting down here, so that's good. Another thing I got unexpectedly was this Joy to the Girls. Um, this is one of the Too Faced Christmas sets, and I have worn a couple of these colors, and I have compared it to my Bon Bon's palette, but this is really pretty, and I don't know exactly how I can hold this so that you can see it. I haven't opened the mascara in here because I have other palettes um, that came with one of these. But these colors are really, really pretty. This was $45, and it looks like a book. Also, they had another one called Be Merry, Be Bright, which is very little. It's two little palettes, and they have, um, one of them has a blush in it, and it's also $45. And I wanted both of them, but I will say um, one of the palettes in the Be Merry and Be Bright kind of resembles the um, Too Faced Rebel, Pretty Rebel palette, but I still want it. Um, and then the last two sets of things, which is Sephora and Bath and Body Works. I got these new Sephora polishes, the X-Line. As you know, they put their Sephora by OPI polishes on sale because they were coming out with their own line. Now, where I got these from, it said ten fifty. Of course, they rang up at twelve fifty because they were all mixed up. So be careful when you get these. If you're after, you know, a specific color or you want to spend a specific amount, different polishes in different areas cost different amounts. So these were twelve fifty a piece, and I think the plain colors are ten fifty a piece. But I haven't used them yet, and I know if you have like a hundred point perk at Sephora, one of the little red ones is one of the gifts. But the colors that I got, this one is chaotic, which I'm wondering how close chaotic is to this. If you can see, they kind of look just alike. This one appears to have bigger pieces, but I know sometimes polishes that look just alike, they lay down differently or they have a different effect, so I don't mind that. I got this one specifically because... Two of these colors that I got, I think Vroom and Need for Speed, these are metallic colors. There was a tutorial in the Nail It magazine that I want to try, and it used all three of these colors, which is why I specifically got this, even though I had one that I thought was similar. This one is Need for Speed. This one is Vroom. Make sure I'm saying that right. Um, this one is a silvery metallic and a goldy kind of metallic. This kind of reminds me of Lancome's Platinum. It's a lighter goldy champagne -y color. I also got their cleanse, which I imagine probably works like the OPI. Um, I can't think of the name of that stuff. I showed it in a video a while back. You put it on and it takes all of the oils um, off your nail. I'm not even sure if I have it over there. Let me see. Sorry about that. I can't think of the name of that stuff, and shame on me, but it works like that. You put this on, it takes all the oils off, and then you put your base coat on, which I do plan to go back and get a base coat. I got one of the polishes that they are calling a shifter, and I'm guessing this is like a duochrome. Um, it probably works just like the Color Club Hollows do, but this one was a pretty one. So I do intend to go back and get many, many more. Their color variety is really something very, very nice, so... I have a lot of Tiffany blue type colors, and I plan to get some more. So just to show you guys, this little bag right here is filled with nail polish. And you've seen all the colors I already have. You've seen the display on my dresser. Not to mention all the polish here on my table that I need to be cleaning up. You can see the little nail plates in front of me. I haven't used any. But isn't this just pitiful? Only someone who truly loves nail polish will probably understand what I've done there. The last purchases that I made was this right here. This is the Amber Blush, and this is the Shimmer Spray. And I like this a lot. I like this because you can um, spray it where you want it, and it's a real fine mist. But I do want to get one of the ones that has silver, which will probably be like um, 
I don't know what it was called. Okay, so I am very unprepared today. Um, but I think um, not the Be Enchanted might be one of the ones with silver um, in there. So I want one of those. And then I also got the Amber Blush Body Cream and the Amber Blush Scrub. I had three of these, so I might have shown this before. Now, I will be having another giveaway probably around the first or second week of November. And I plan on getting more of these. So these are going to be the items that are going to be featured in that giveaway. But I'm getting them piece by piece. I plan to get the body cream. Um, well, this is the body cream. I plan to get the lotion and the shower gel and one of the regular mists. So... Do be prepared and stay tuned because as I get all of the items together, I will give information on that. And it will go just like this one that I just did. I'll just be showing the items and then I will announce it as a giveaway and I will give you the rules. So this is not ready yet because when I have the giveaway, there will be more than three pieces available. I will, like I said, have the shower gel, the lotion, and the body splash. Now, if some people don't like shimmer... I may say, you know, if you don't want the splash, you can pick either this one or the regular one. And I may say you can pick this one or the lotion, between the lotion and the body cream. Or I may just give it all and then maybe you might want to give it to someone as a gift. Because I do realize that not everybody likes everything sparkly. Some people prefer the lotions over the body cream and what have you. But, do stay tuned for that. Because, like I said, I will be mentioning that, and it will go just like it did before, where I will just be talking about the item, and as I said, I will list the rules. So this will be for those. Maybe you don't like nail polish that much, or you have some of the colors that I've already mentioned, or you would like to win body care. So for those that entered my last giveaway that did not win the polish, and congratulations to Shelly One. I sent her package off yesterday. Um... I will have some other things to say um, or to show my appreciation for you all. Um, so that's all that I have for this um, to share in the show. So until the next time, thank you and everyone have a great day.